these are so exciting. I can't wait to start my Black Widow review. I'll have a lot to talk about the MCU and my theories for possible futures. Hi, y'all. Ah! Clock people! I knew this day was coming! Roshi VA, my name is Miss Minutes. And on behalf of the Time Variance Authority, I hereby place you under arrest for crimes against the timeline. What? What crime have I committed? You designed to review Black Widow has caused an unnecessary nexus in the Grand Timeline. Why does everybody not want me to review Marvel movies? Seriously, I haven't done one since Doctor Strange! Terribly sorry, that's not my department. Now if you come with me, I will escort you to your trial hearing. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, can I just get maybe one final phone call before I go? Very well. You have one minute. Thank you. Hey! Yeah, Rick? Devil. It's Roshi. God, yeah, how's Morty? Good, good. Listen, uh, I need to cash in that favor you owe me. You know, from when I pulled you and your tech out of the Grabble Snatcher's Fondle Gumps? Fondle Gumps. Look, man, just send me a code 19223 right now. Just do it! I'm sorry, that was a pretty strange conversation. Ha 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 ha! Luther! Oh, fiddle faddle. Mr. Conqueror won't be happy about this. Ugh. Ugh. I hate portals. What the? Where am I? Is this heaven? Hell? Am I dead? Well, you're not dead. But if you don't do what we say, you will be. Aha. Uh -huh. So, let me just take a wild crack at this. Let me guess, you're all versions of me from different universes. Yeah, yeah, let's see. There's a, a human Roshi and a, a girl Roshi. Hey, my name is Reina. Right, right, Reina. Sorry. Okay, then there's a uh, Toon Roshi, Wa Roshi, <laughs> Cat Roshi, <laughs> Roshi dot Mav. I bet you I can eat all these fucking apples. And of course, Robo Roshi. No more arigato. So what is this? Do you need my help to destroy some multi-dimensional foe in an epic and time-consuming battle for the fate of all worlds? Hmm, not this time. Uh, we were just gonna play some basketball. Basketball? Why would we play- Oh. Yup, Space Jam 2. 23 Skadoo! Oh shit. Everybody get up, it's time to slam now. We got a real jam going now. Welcome to the Space Jam. Get your chance, do your dance at the Space Jam. Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam! Oi! Multiverses are quite the popular topic this year, aren't they? What with Marvel setting up their cinematic multiverse, and DC, and many more properties with theirs, it's certainly a popular trend in 2021. Though back in the early 90s, there was one movie who dared to start to profit off the multiverse. Gosh, Roger Rabbit? No, that was actually a fantastic groundbreaking movie. What we mean is the cash-grabbing sports vest crossover known as Space Jam. In the 90s, this movie was big. I mean, huge. And that's because the marketing was everywhere. I mean, Michael Jordan and Bugs Bunny? k k, -k ching Commercials for this movie were playing every minute. Happy Meal toys, merchandise, Air Jordans. This movie was pretty much a giant commercial. But man, did us 90s kids fall for it. If you ask a lot of people in their 20s today about Space Jam, you'll either hear one of three things. Hell yeah, Space Jam was the shit! That piece of sellout garbage, no thanks. Or, oh yeah, I used to love that as a kid. But looking at it now, it's so bad. <laughs> yes, whether or not people think this is a good movie, it's certainly one that is remembered. Again, probably because of the rampant marketing. So, 25 years later, we're finally getting the sequel that, honestly, I don't think anyone demanded, but exposed itself in all its 2D to 3D animated glory, Space Jam A New Legacy. So is this movie better than the original, or is it just a flat basketball lost in play? Well, let's find out. 
The movie starts with our newest corporate puppet, I mean all-star b-ball player, LeBron James, who I swear is trying his best to seem interested in this movie, but failing miserably. He's having trouble connecting with his son Dom, who would rather program video games than play basketball. But LeBron ain't having none of that. You'll play ball, son, and like it. Jeez, I'm kind of tired of these overbearing parent tropes. All the while that's happening, Warner Brothers is releasing a new interactive program called Warner 3000, created by a corrupt AI known as Al G. Rhythm, played by Don Cheadle. Wow. Rhodey just hasn't been the same since Endgame, huh? Algae Rhythm is hell-bent on getting LeBron to sponsor the whole thing, but when LeBron rejects him, it's all-out villain mode. Using some weird virtual portal, Algae kidnaps LeBron and Son and challenges him to a fate of the world's basketball game. So he sends him to a place forgotten by time, Toon World, where Bugs Bunny seems to be the only one left. So with the help of LeBron, Bugs goes to find the rest of the Toon Squad for his team so they can play the internet's biggest game of basketball and rescue LeBron's son. Roboroshi, what are your thoughts on this plot, LeBron? Bugs, Bunny, Error, 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 Exterminate, Exterminate! Yep, me too, buddy. So you're all probably wondering what I think of this upgraded sequel. It sucks! It is so horrible and stupid, reusing the same damn plot. Yeah, and once again, the Looney Tunes aren't funny unless it's related to a pop culture reference or something. Aw, oh, come on, y'all. I think it's great. Seeing all these tunes and other Warner Brothers properties? Why, even our old chums Rick and Morty make a cameo. F*** yeah, Rick and Morty! wobble up a dub dub Would you all shut up? I'm trying to think here. Hey, man, don't stress yourself over this. It's just, this always happens. Part of me likes it, part of me doesn't like it. Can't I just ever pick a side? No, 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 Roshi, you're looking at this all wrong. Instead of thinking about how you see it, what about other people? Hey. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. <coughs> wow, get me? That was beautiful. Now get up there and tell them how you feel. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I... I think this movie is... however you want it to be. Gosh, Roshi, what do you mean? What I mean is, like all movie opinions, it's hugely subjective. The worst movie on the planet, I guarantee, still has some fans out there. And some people absolutely hate some movies that are regarded as critical successes. But people, this is Space Jam. It's not supposed to be a good movie. Even the first one did this. I doubt they thought this would be an Oscar-winning box office smash. This movie and its sequel only exists to sell merch. And entertain the part of your brain that loves seeing all these cartoon movie characters and NBA All-Stars come together and just do their thing. Do I think this is a good movie? Hell no. I could go on and on about all the things I found wrong with this movie, but there's also a lot of good things to pick out. Holy shit, what do they do to Lola? Where are her boobies? She sucks now! Actually, moron, Lola was surprisingly one of the best parts of this movie. Let's face it, in the first one, she was there to be a sex symbol, next to no personality and just there to crush on bugs. In this one, though, she's so much more fleshed out. In her first scene, she's actually training to become a friggin' Amazon, under Wonder Woman, no less. And Zendaya actually does a decent job with her voice. Like, it surprisingly fits. And you gotta admit, that Rick and Morty cameo was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, it was. So in my opinion, in order to enjoy this movie, you just gotta... gotta turn off your brain. There's so much to go through when you watch it. But just keep an open mind. Make your own judgments, relax, and enjoy the ride. Honestly, this is one movie I cannot score, so I'm gonna let you do it! Write down in the comment box what you think this movie's score should be, and please be respectful and no spoilers. What's happened? The Nexus is fixing itself. We can go home. Well, Roshi, it's been fun. Later on. This was fun, Roshi. Thanks a lot. It was a lot of laughs! Happy trails, partner! <laughs> Well, time to explore Fluttershy's shed!
All the bronies will get that reference. What a nice bunch of me's. Well, thank you everyone for watching my real review. I hope you enjoyed it and... Sorry y'all, but this video is over. If you don't want to get reset, please exit the video. Have a nice day. Oh, jeez, Rick. Whoa, what the hell was that? <coughs> Interdimensional cable, Morty. Obviously, we picked some desperate ex bronies attempt to share his jaded views on nostalgic movies he's seen using shared streaming services and lame jokes in an attempt to make himself feel important. Wow, Rick. Th that was kind of heavy. Hey, I didn't write it. The fat guy watching us did. Whew. I gotta stop watching Rick and Morty while I edit.